Dear friends, today I want to invite you on an exciting journey into the world of God's light and salvation. We will delve deep into the words of Scripture, and I am confident that this word will come to you like a fresh stream of water in a dry desert. Let us turn together to Psalm 27, where it says, The Lord is my light and my salvation. This powerful statement carries not only warm hope, but also the power to change our lives. Friends, if you have already subscribed to our channel and hit the like button, I want to thank you for your support. Your activity helps us spread this blessed message of God's light and salvation throughout the world. And if you are just beginning our journey together, I invite you to subscribe right now and hit the like button so that more people can see this video and join our spiritual family. Friends, today's sermon will be a source of inspiration and hope for each of us. So let's open our hearts and minds together to receive this word of God. Get ready to immerse yourselves in the ocean of God's love and wisdom, which fills our lives with light and salvation. Perhaps there have been moments in your life when it seemed like darkness enveloped your path, when hopelessness and fear became your constant companions. But in those moments, I urge you to remember the words from Psalm 27, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Imagine this image, the Lord, shining light over all our dark corners, lifting us from the abyss of our fear and uncertainty. These are not just words on the pages of the Bible. This is a reality that can change your life. Divine radiant salvation is much more than just relief from problems. It is a transformation of our soul and heart. It is a promise that we will never be alone and forsaken by fate. Friends, God does not simply illuminate our dark moments. He comes to illuminate our path forward, to show us the true meaning of our existence. When we turn to Him, we find answers to our questions, we find comfort for our hearts, we find strength for our weaknesses. But it is important to remember that divine radiant salvation requires a response from us. We must open ourselves to this light, trust Him, and follow Him. We must cooperate with God so that He can transform our lives and guide our steps. Today, I urge you to accept this divine radiant salvation into your life. Give God the opportunity to transform you. Give Him the opportunity to illuminate your path. And remember, when you discover this radiant salvation, your life will never be the same again. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, allow me to lead you into this beautiful world of God's light, where each of us can find true insight and be filled with grace. In scripture, light is often used as a symbol of God's presence, his truth, and the righteous path he offers us. Imagine how, in the darkness of night, a solitary lamp illuminates your path, guiding you to safety and refuge. Similarly, God, being the source of light, illuminates our lives so that we may see the truth of his word and the direction of his will. Exploring God's presence in our lives, we see that He is not just a source of light, but a source of life. In His light, we find confidence and peace because His light illuminates our hearts and strengthens our faith. Like a lamp in the darkness, God consistently shines upon us, even when darkness tries to envelop us. My friends, allow me to emphasize the importance of God's light for our journey of faith. In our world full of doubts and temptations, God's light becomes our guide and support. It illuminates our path so that we may see the truth and avoid pitfalls. In His light, we find true direction and a reliable foundation for our faith. My friends, let us openly acknowledge that the Lord is the source of light in our lives. Let us be grateful for His light, which fills our hearts and guides our steps. May this light be like a fire that burns unceasingly in our hearts, illuminating our path and bringing us peace and joy. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, I want to draw your attention to the great truth that God is our Savior. In His infinite wisdom and love, He came to save us from darkness and the enslavement of sin. Allow me to lead you through this great journey of faith. The concept of salvation occupies a central place in the Bible. It is not just deliverance from disasters or hardships, but true liberation from the power of sin and death. In God's word, we see that salvation comes through faith in Jesus Christ, 
his sacrifice on the cross, and his resurrection from the dead. This is the path that God offers us for salvation. Let's look at examples of salvation from Scripture. In the Gospel of John, we see how Jesus saves the woman caught in adultery and tells her, Go, and sin no more. This is a true example of how God comes to save us from our sins and gives us a new beginning. But not only in Scripture do we see the action of God's salvation. Many personal testimonies from people all over the world confirm the power of God's salvation in their lives, healing from diseases, deliverance from addictions, overcoming difficulties. These testimonies testify that God is our faithful and mighty Savior. My friends, let us not forget how God saves us from darkness and the enslavement of sin. He doesn't just come to comfort us in our troubles, He comes to free us from their chains. In His salvation, we find true liberation and a source of endless hope. Therefore, let us always be grateful for His salvation and ready to accept His grace and love into our lives. Amen. When we encounter God's salvation in our lives, it requires a response from us. Let's consider how we can respond to this great gift of God's grace. Call to gratitude for God's salvation. The first and most natural response to God's salvation is gratitude. When we realize how God has acted in our lives, how He saved us from darkness and the bondage of sin, our hearts are filled with thankfulness. We thank Him for His mercy, for His love, for His patience toward us. Let gratitude become our constant companion as we acknowledge the gifts that God bestows upon us each day. Affirmation of faith through acknowledging God's salvation in our lives. Our faith is strengthened when we acknowledge the action of God's salvation in our lives. When we remember how God intervened in our destinies, how He led us through trials and hardships, our faith grows. Share your testimony of how God saved you with others. It will not only be a source of inspiration for them, but also strengthen your own faith. Practical steps in response to God's salvation, prayer, service, and worship. Finally, our responsive action to God's salvation should manifest in our everyday lives. We can pray, give thanks, and praise God every day for His salvation. We can serve others, demonstrating God's love and mercy in our relationships with others. And, of course, we can worship God in spirit and truth, acknowledging His greatness and offering Him our hearts. My friends, let us not stop at merely acknowledging God's salvation, but let our lives be fully transformed by this wondrous act of grace. Let our response to God's salvation be one of complete devotion, gratitude, and service, so that all glory belongs to Him. Encountering God's salvation should not leave us indifferent or inactive. It should inspire us to further steps in our spiritual life and service. Prayer is our connection with God, and through prayer, we can express our gratitude for His salvation and ask for His guidance and strength in our lives. Stay connected with God not only in difficult times, but in all circumstances of your life. Service is a practical expression of our faith. When we serve others, we reflect God's love and mercy towards us. Don't wait for those in need to come to you, but seek opportunities to be a helping hand and a source of comfort for those who need it. Worship is our acknowledgement of God's greatness and grace. Through worship, we acknowledge His reign in our lives and in the world as a whole. Find ways to worship God whether through prayer, singing hymns of praise, or simply by acknowledging His presence in your life. May our living testimony of God's salvation be reflected in our actions, words, and way of life. May we be a light to the world, reflecting the love and mercy of the One who saved us from darkness and brought us into His light. To Him be all honor and glory, forever and ever. Amen. Dear friends, today we have embarked together on a great journey through divine light and salvation. We have seen how God is the source of light in our lives, illuminating our path and filling us with hope. We have discovered that God is our Savior, who comes to free us from darkness and the enslavement of sin. We have also discussed how we can respond to this great salvation through gratitude, faith, and practical service. My friends, may these truths remain with us and inspire us every day. 
May we always remember the great love of God for us, His mercy, and grace, which He continually pours out upon us. May our lives be a testimony to His great power and transforming love. So, my friends, may our hearts be full of gratitude, our faith strong, and our service diligent. May we be a source of light and hope for those around us. Remember that each of us can become a beacon of light in this world, illuminating the path for others and filling their lives with love and mercy. My friends, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May His light always illuminate your path, and may His salvation fill your life with joy and peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.